two cars that look like any other. But these have created history, fuelled by hydrogen that's stored and shipped in ammonia, then cracked and purified back into hydrogen. They're quiet and they emit nothing but water. The transfer is possible due to this revolutionary metal membrane technology, which took CSIRO scientists 10 years to develop. It's 100% selective, so we get a pure product, which is exactly what these cars need. Hydrogen is easy to produce in Australia through renewable energy sources like sunlight and wind. Now scientists have cracked the code on how to export it safely using ammonia. It's been hailed as a groundbreaking missing link in the export chain. It could potentially rival our current LNG export industry. So as of this year, Australia is the world's biggest natural gas exporter. Um, hydrogen could be in the same position in a couple of decades. It's big, it's a game changer. It allows the uh, hydrogen to be transported to markets where there potentially was no op opportunity there before. Toyota and Hyundai have come on board road testing the pure hydrogen supply. They can fill up in three minutes just like a normal car uh, and they've got 800 kilometres of range. So it's just like driving a normal car except these cars are zero emission vehicles. The hydrogen costs a little more than fuel but powers the car for twice as long. It's in Asia where the production of these cars is growing at a rapid rate. The South Korean government, for example, has just announced 16,000 new hydrogen powered vehicles and it's building over 300 refuelling stations, all within five years. An industry lobby group with members like Caltex and Shell agrees carbon free fuel is the future. So you will have your petrol, your diesel and your hydrogen fuel all sitting side by side. CSIRO scientists say Australia's ability to create an unlimited amount of hydrogen could fuel the nation's next export boom. Australia could certainly be a renewable energy export superpower, there's no doubt about that. These cars currently sell for between sixty and $80,000, but the price is coming down fast. Lexi Hamilton-Smith, ABC News.